What the fuck? Come on, say that shit. So like, I, I got corrupted or something. What the fuck? They bring my wings. That's tough. Faces. The fuck? Uzi Vert. Nah. Shit, I thought our droids weren't allowed here. What'd you say, sir? Derek Myers. You crazy? I can look at. I can, oh, all I gotta do is just look at these niggas' faces, and I know their whole identity, bro. I know your whole identity. What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem, Mister? Uh. Jonah Graham, look at you, bruh. Or over here, like Draymond Green, face ass. Who the fuck is this? This is Mark from uh, 60 Days In, Edward Dempsey. That I think, uh, who is this? Is Kenny Chow? Kim Johan, close enough. Christopher Gray. So who am I supposed to be looking for again? Dennis Ward. Chris Roberts. Hey, get out of here. So I can't be racist? I'm not racist, chat. I love all people. Well, most people. <laughs> Supposed to talk to somebody or like find Ted Ederson. So who's Ted Ederson? Oh, is that him over there? There he is. Sir. Lieutenant Anderson. 
My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyber Life. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyber Life android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. Damn. See that Jim wonders the technology. Make it a double. Don't help Sean unless he asks for y'all. Got it? Who's chat and these two girls? Girls names be horrible for 2021. Y'all are teenagers. Not surprised. Did you say homicide? Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? Anderson? I'm not confirming anything. He said, wait here, though. I could have sworn he said, wait here. Wait, am I supposed to get out? Hey, look, what the fuck are you doing, dude? It's with me. So I tried to stay in the car, didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at half. Sir, yes, sir. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Not very funny. Just tell me what happened. We're gonna call around the landlord. I had the package back for a few months, so I thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he the bar. Oh, Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, oh, stay easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was yeah, locked. Look at inside. Ew. All the windows were boarded up. Ew. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. No fear, Prince Andrew. Hey, Louis. 
一応でもうんそうやなえっファウルユアーえっそうなんだよえっそうなんだよはい。Text officially better. Sorry, ladies, but, pla but plastic can't be beat. Let's read this. Check memes on your phone. Hot Cheetos, cheese, cheese, it's peanut butter and jellies and fruit punch. God damn, Nathan. Yo, Lex, you for 135 bits, bro. Appreciate it. The result of a survey is in an official 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a little real woman. What? Jay, are y'all reading this? 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they tried to experience at least once. That's a lot of Android left to go around. What? Niggas out here fucking Androids and shit. Hey friend, what's going on, Chris? Everybody hates Chris. Took edibles, uh, business. There are a few reasons given to this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. This story was sponsored by Eating clubs, fresh and real, man. Damn. Android spot on you. So niggas out here just sticking their dicks in androids and nothing in them. Crazy.
know the androids have grip far stronger than gorilla grip? I mean, probably. Honestly, for androids, though, you might have to use lube. I feel like you have to use lube when you're doing that. Let's keep it in the car. Oil. The door was locked from the inside. I must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Androids. I mean, technically, technically, I mean, androids are like young in real hundred percent. He was stabbed twenty-eight times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Y'all think Android's watching porn chat? Imagine what imagine Android porn. How would that work? They would be like, oh stick your truck. 
stick your charger into my USB port or some shit like that. <laughs> niggas over here fuck them. If niggas over here fucking androids more than actual women, then it probably says a lot. It definitely says a lot. in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with a knife. Oh. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. I fucked up. Is it the bat? With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Alright, good. I'm gonna take the meanest back shots to the tower and go to jail for two months. Why y'all ask me these questions? The victim stabbed the android. Your story makes no sense. You've gotta stick to the facts. stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The victim fled to the living room. The living room. 999 pet, thank you for the follow. Alright, goodnight club. Happy New Year, bro. I'm gonna cut up, nigga, gut it him. Get gutted. Tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally gosh. Damn! That man tell us where the android went. Nigga was angry. It was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Theory. You call it blue blood. 
It's the fluid that powers Android's biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. First time playing this shit, so I'm just trying to figure out. Like, I'm trying to, you know, get to the bottom of this. You know what I mean? I'm not sure what this is. I don't think Android feels like they're gonna get I don't think they really care, to be honest. I mean, Android's only need to have a dick, to be honest. Or a vagina. They can't reproduce. Chair. I'm going to check something. Now you Happy New Year, man. Oh, what the fuck? I was just defending myself. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here. Spawn machine pistol. So they ain't gonna, they don't give me a chance to choose or nothing. Fuck me, something went wrong, dude. Why oh, I just keep saying something went wrong? Connor knows what happened. Put the lieutenant. We can shut the crime if all of the she had to find the DV. Hmm, okay. <laughs>
Todd? Oh. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Let's see what she made, Jack. Y'all think Androids know how to cook like those? There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Y'all have no idea. I hate when this happens. This is why I can't post any, like, this is why it's taking me so long to post, like, playthroughs on YouTube. Cause shit like this keeps happening. Hella stressful. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. You're poor. Fucking shit hole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Smart, you really scared me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off out of work. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy knows. It's all your fucking fault. Whoa. Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Oh, I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Put it down, man. Put it down. 
you do. Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking put a bullet in your back and bring you fat shit. Oh, okay. You seem to have a problem. Yeah, you saw. I think we need to fix that. Bitch! Bitch! so convenient that the bus legit pulls up as as literally after we just took a body at all times the bus decides to pull up right right now after we just killed a nigga that's crazy but okay the clock says so see this break programming there's some bro there's no there's so many different like scenarios here here we go to deviate go upstairs gun scene in a new home wait what would happen if you didn't have the gun Take gun, get Alice to come Threaten with gun. Defend Alice. Kara kills Todd. Open up the bus. Kara shot Todd. Bro, look at all these other scenarios. There's, damn, there's so many. God damn. Try the other path. I ain't got time for all that, but... <laughs> that was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cops. If they had the gun, it would end a lot better. No matter. Fuck that nigga. 
Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. You could just escape the Eden Hatch. Scotch? Neat as usual? Lock the door Absolutely. and escape the window. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Hmm. Well. Too bad. Yes, yeah, Todd is dead. He's always going to be dead. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. The patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Pause. <laughs> Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. All right, Leo. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I can leave him alone? Hey, yo. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! I mean... Like... <laughs> do I really... I mean... Do I really have a choice here, or like... What? Listen, what is, what is listening going to do for me, bro? What is listening going to do for me? Got your ass left. <laughs> Be ass. You got a choice? Let's see what happens if I don't do anything. happening so Oh, 
Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Hugh Hefner, no! Don't let anybody. Not Hugh Hefner, Chad. Tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. Damn. I call him Dad. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Nah, fuck that. Uh oh. The android. Who's the android? Look at this bitch ass nigga. Bitch, he called you. Why would you shoot him? I don't know. I mean, shit. Why'd you kill him? <sighs> what happened before you took that knife? Clear it. You care. Thought of that? Maybe conclusion. How long were you in the attic? Sorry, we go. Bro, it started. It started happening legit. Like, why didn't you even try to run away? Probably like a month ago. Maybe like a month and a half ago, actually. This has been happening for a while. Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. This is bullshit, man. We're wasting our time in terror. I can't shoot. I can't even shoot. Bro, I can't stream a game and. Always try roughing up a little. I can't stream and play a game at the same time while this shit crashing, dude. Androids don't feel. I don't bad. know how I'm about to do a whole 24 hour stream if this is gonna keep happening. That wouldn't make it talk. I really don't know how I'm about to do a whole 24 hour stream. Deviants also have a tendency to self destruct. That shit is damn near situation. fucking impossible. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I can try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Is it doing now?
So yeah, sweet. What? Cigarette burns? This man was abused, bro. He's a victim. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You recognize him? So he's Carlos Ortiz. That's our answer code. Stabbed 28 times. written on the wall in his blood. Assemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I, I, I can't. Pressure it. Probe is memory convinced it. Twenty eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? For A, I'm about to press this nigga. Do you feel anger? Pressure in. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. I knew you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. Just say you killed him. Just say it. Say it, nigga. Sorry, Red. Thank you for following. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Whoa. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. I am alive on the wall. He used to tell me I was nothing. 
that I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it to tell him he was wrong. Hmm. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. The fuck's RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Dead ass. M.W. Shab. Thank you for the follow. What the fuck? Take pressure. Android confesses. Android starts self destructing. Intervene. So wait, wait, that happened because I tried to intervene? What the fuck? I mean, this is the lamest corner of death. Like, how is that least a player supposed to know that? that, that can't. Bro, I, I honestly did not even know that. I really did not even know that, bro. Because the stress level? Well, I, if I didn't stress him out, he wouldn't have, like, he wouldn't have said shit. So what the fuck was I supposed to do? I needed, I needed, I needed a confession. I needed him to confess, which he did. But like, fuck. Hmm. 
Do you know if there's any other the more likely he is to fucking uh I have no idea. She got like a fess. Tell me, but it's isn't Connor dying like multiple times? Isn't that like, a bad thing? Apparently, You'll feel better in no time. Clancy, thank you for the follow. Sorry, he's just so in memory. Ah. Be the bigger, I'll be the bigger person in this shit. Hey, I, feel, I, I feel like every single game I play, I have to fucking, you know, on, be the better role model and teach kids how to, you know, be good. And for some reason, every time I do that, it always somehow manages to fuck me over. I mean, look, look what happened to fucking Daniel in Life is Strange 2. You know, our whole main purpose was to go, you know, across the border. And this dumbass nigga jumps out the car oh at the last minute. Looks like we found a place to stay. So, yeah. No. 
No androids allowed. $40. Wow. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Same shit she would do like that, but she cared about you stealing. <laughs> I mean, I was doing her a favor. I was honestly doing her a favor, so I don't know. Wait, too much. You know, you know, uh, CT's 13 years old, right? So cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Is that Jamie Foxx? Oh, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Man, fuck it. Wait outside for me. I'll just be two minutes. Wait outside? But why? Please, Alice, just trust me. Sorry, but I have no choice. Take the cash from the register, put it on the counter. Uh-oh. Hey, look, I try to be nice, bro. I try to be nice, but you know, you say yourself, ain't no salvation army, coach. Open the register. Put 
put the cash in the counter. Oh shit, nigga. You better get out of here before things get nasty. You see that little girl outside? Her name is Alice. She's nine years old, and this is the worst night of her life. All I need is a few dollars so we can find a place for tonight. And I'm not leaving without that money. My god, you don't have to lose your life over some money, bruh. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Fifty. Well, I don't know. We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? Uh. I just asked the cashier for a few dollars. <laughs> Alright, now we need clothes. Niggas clothes, I wanted a burger, bro. Here. So I could stay there. Let's see. So I could stay in the motel or I could stay in the house and keep the forty dollars. But is it really that is it really that important to keep the money though? Like Hmm. I, mean, I just rob. I mean, I just robbed this nigga. So I mean, honestly, if I just rob this man for like four, like forty dollars, I'm gonna, I'm going to the motel. History pass, you can go. Okay. If I just rob this man for like forty dollars, I'm going to the motel. Like, there's no question. I'm going to the motel. I just need clothes. There's nothing more this way. Oh, it's the only way. Okay. I try to be a good Samaritan. Like, I guess I really can't do nothing at this point. I've already robbed the fucking... I already robbed the fucking uh, convenience store. I'm also just take this nigga's shit. Feel me?
Let's go. Fuck my life. Bro, I didn't think you're supposed to hold it. I thought like you'd be like, I don't know, bro. Come on, let's go back. Well, I can't go back. That's crazy. I wanna feel that. Okay, CT. I missed the part where I asked about that. Bum ass nigga. How does freaking someone be in this shit? Find wire cutters in this shit. There's no point going any farther. I'm gonna find wire cutters, my guy.
modes were set. What? Even the band in the car. Any other options? I don't know if I'm missing. My ass Today, Mark, how old are you again? Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Not a lot, me personally, I don't really care for beer like that. Beer is hella overrated. I'm drinking alcohol, shit. I need like flavored drink. I drink for the taste. humans want to hurt us but Ralph won't let them hurt him again no he won't let them she's just a little girl she's not gonna hurt you little girl she's not a little girl anyway what does that matter maybe she wants to hurt Ralph look I'm an android too Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Jesus. Two face. Touch your hair on her head and I'll kill you. No, don't hurt Ralph. 
You must excuse Ralph. Hey. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Oh, the fuck. Fuck all the words, bro. I like my gun to the talking. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> that nigga Ralph thought he was tall that night. That man Come. thought he was tough. Come so on. I pulled that strap. <laughs> this one. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. He thought he was tough until I pulled out the fucking blicky. That's not so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time. Yeah, had a reality yeah, check. Come on, Alex. <laughs> They're just closing it and we don't know about it. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. He has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Proof of school threat. Why is the, why is Ralph talking third person anyway? You one of those. Make a bed for us. Start the fire. Get it. Why well, got broken mentally when you look at his face? You tell him he was like a motherfucker. Probably was. Bro, why are humans so abusive to like androids though, bro? I, look, I, look, I get that some of them or most of them took your jobs and shit. Okay, but I don't mean you gotta be up on the things, bro. They're not even like human. They're just like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, take out, like, take your anger out of something else, man. They ain't do shit to you. They just chilling. They're they out here trying to help you. You you wanna beat on them? It's just crazy. All right, where's the firewood? <sighs> Doing that for a piece of metal, bruh. I mean, when you put it that way, yeah, I mean, I, I understand, but at the same time, I'm like, bruh. It, it's like being on a. How do I explain it? I, I don't know, bro. Like, it's just that the androids, they ain't doing nothing, they ain't doing nothing by trying to live their lives. They're built to help. As a matter of fact. I did what I could. Honestly, if it were be 100, like, it would be 100%. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. The humans, they shouldn't be mad at the androids. They shouldn't be mad at the people who built the androids. So I don't, I don't see why they're, like, taking the anger out on them. As if they signed up for this. Why did he ever love me? Alright, good night, Shadow. Why was he always so upset with me? Happy New Year, bro. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Who built the androids? That's what I want to find out. Well, I'll see humans. Maybe I did something wrong. I'll see humans built the Maybe I wasn't good enough. So humans should be mad at humans for this shit. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise me.
promise you'll never go. I promise. I promise you. Will we be together forever? Sure. I know I can't promise that. I find some shit might happen where I might fuck up and then, you know. Yeah. Well, I'll do my best to protect you, Alice. For as long as I possibly can. Space, bro. I, I, I don't know. It's kind of odd. I mean, I am an android, and technically, it's not really. Gun taken in a stormy night. That I will gun. Wait, you're going to wait. You're going to gotten taken. Are you for real? Again, you kind of want really. I don't know they're different. I think we can call it a night here.